WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and currently we have a sea of green out there. Pretty much uh, most of my screen is green. Got the Dow up 275 points, about nine-tenths of a percent. Nearly 1% for the S&P, 38 points. Eight-tenths for the uh, NASDAQ 100, 12, six, uh, that's 104 points to the upside. The Russell's up eight-tenths, 14 points. The semis, oh, I didn't see that. They're, uh, they're flat, they're down one point. Trannies are up 178 points. They're leading the charger. Percentage-wise, they're up one and a quarter percent. You've got gold trading up 13 bucks. Silver's trading up 95 cents. That's 5% move to the upside. That's a big one. Lights we crude is up a buck 59, trading at 88.41. Natural gas up 34 cents. Nice move there. She's trading at 8.34, and the 30-year treasury is flat at 133.60. Let's go spend a little time, take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini in the upper left hand corner. What we know here is price closed on Friday above the top of its daily profile, running right into resistance right now, where both buyers and sellers reside from a weekly perspective. And that's at the price point of 4367. The high, uh, 4132, my apology, 4132 is where the center of that profile. The high so far today has been, let me just make sure this is correct here, find the right spot, uh, 40. 4137. Gotta love that. So 4132 versus 4137. Now that spot volatilix is actually rising today. It's trading just a bit higher in that sea of green, but it's still below its 50 day exponential moving average. That's at the 24. Let me give you make sure I got that here. 2415 level. So that's what you'd want to be watching. As we take a look at the NQ, trading right into resistance right now. Now resistance is the top of its daily profile. That's a 12776. We've gotten up to a high of 12,838. We're printing right now at 12,777. So watch that 12. So if price can close above this level, then we should see a further rally in the NQ. That price target would be up in the 13,349 level. What happens if uh, resistance holds? Well, then we got to take a look at those charts more certainly during the Trader's Edge show. If you take a look at the U.S. dollar index, that has a Rhodes Momentum indicator top right now. Price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Don't know whether it will close below it, but if it does, that's at 108. 49 out there, then price may be targeting the 105.14 level. Gold is trying to form a new weekly bullish structured profile out there. That would suggest that a price close above 1736 should get us up to, well, first 1762 and then above that, 1824 would be the nugget. The case of silver, she's on her way to the top of that weekly profile. That's at 1957. No, can't be right. Oh, there's a new weekly profile that's attempting to form. That is correct. And price is trading above it. Silver in a full breakout mode right now. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Monday, have a magnificent one. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.